in this video, we are going to perform the classic reaction for the synthesis of hydrogen sulfide gas, which involves dripping dilute hydrochloric acid onto solid iron to sulfide. The sulfide ion is protonated twice and escapes as volatile gas. The interesting thing about hydrogen sulfide is that it's the sulfur analog to water, as sulfur is directly under oxygen in the periodic table. H2S and H2O. When we take a look at the electronegativity of oxygen and sulfur, we can see why water is a liquid at room temperature whereas hydrogen sulfide is gaseous. In the water molecule, the hydrogen atoms are partially positively polarized, whereas the oxygen is partially negatively polarized. That's why water can form hydrogen bonds, resulting in a very high melting and boiling point. Besides the smell, Hydrogen sulfide is actually a very selective and strong reducing agent. That's why we are going to use the hydrogen sulfide gas to prepare sodium hydrogen sulfide. This is a very good reducing agent for nitro groups, as it will reduce selectively the ortho position on the benzene ring. For example, sodium hydrogen sulfide is used in the synthesis of picramic acid from picric acid. Okay, here we go. So let's make the small tour around the apparatus as usual. On the left, there is our standard gas generator setup with pressure equalizing addition funnel and gas port. Watch our video on sulfur dioxide for more details. We turn around the addition funnel so that you can see the Marius tube. The escaping gases are then lead into a large, 1 liter gas washing bottle filled with water. This removes any traces of hydrochloric acid in the gas stream and also removes impurities from the hydrogen sulfide. The hydrogen sulfide gas is then dried by passing it through a drying tube. This might look stupid, as we are going to bubble the hydrogen sulfide into water anyway. But we have to measure the increase in weight of our sodium hydroxide solution to determine when the reaction is finished, so we don't want any additional water being brought into our second gas washing bottle. This small gas washing bottle is standing in a beaker so that it can be cooled with ice. The tube on the right leads to a burner where all the remaining hydrogen sulfide is burned. Start by dissolving 4 grams of sodium hydroxide in 40 milliliters of water. Stir it well and wait until the solution has cooled down. Now add the solution of sodium hydroxide in water into the small 100 ml gas washing bottle. Then, add some ice cubes to the beaker surrounding the gas washing bottle. Some water is also added. Now we have to wait until the solution has cooled, before we can start introducing the hydrogen sulfide. In the meantime, we weight out some iron sulfide and add it to the round bottom flask. The amount is not critical, as long as enough hydrogen sulfide can be produced. We then add some dilute hydrogen chloride solution to the addition funnel. We use a 50-50 mix by volume of concentrated hydrochloric acid and water. As always, make sure the stopcock is closed. After everything is ready, start dripping the hydrochloric acid onto the iron sulfide. Soon, we can see a steady gas stream in the washing bottles. Here you can see the bubbles of hydrogen sulfide evolving from the iron sulfide. Soon, the reaction accelerates. As the weight increase corresponds to the complete formation of sodium hydrogen sulfide, we blow out the apparatus as usual. Here is our yellowish solution of sodium hydrogen sulfide. It is best used directly without crystallizing the sodium hydrogen sulfide. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our upcoming Christmas and New Year special videos.